hello, welcome. I was in the mood to record something today and I wanted to show you a great trick. This tutorial will be about how to, for example, make a pricing slide like that. The main part of this tutorial, however, will be to create this object. By this object, I mean those lines, this transparent object and overall how to create something like that. The rest is nothing special. The rest is a normal icon, normal text boxes. This is also one, two, three text boxes. And those, this little pattern in the background which you see those elements, this is just a normal, very normal element added by insert, shapes, just a normal shape like a circle. I just made the outline, then I right click it, format shape, I selected the line to be white and I made it transparent. Of course, shape fill, no fill, and this is how I did this. Of course, the, the, the width should be bigger and then transparency should be stronger, like 90%. And this is how you can create a little pattern around here. But how would you go about creating this object? Because this looks very unique, quite cool, and I'll show you how to do this main part. I did this by going to insert shapes and I use the rounded rectangle shape. As you can probably imagine. What then? At first I want to establish the outline before I change any color or anything. I click on the object, I go to format, shape fill, I select no fill. Are you following? Then you can select shape outline and the outline can stay as is. For example, let's select a black color at first, then go to the width, I mean the weight, and maybe four and a half point is okay. Now doing those lines, I did this by going to insert, inserting another shape. And I was thinking to myself how to make this a bit more unique by not using the same element over and over again or not making a normal straight line. Then I saw here on the bottom on the flowchart something like that. I wanted to use that, so I selected and I created it like this. Boom. Now my problem was how do I fill out the top side? And this is really no problem. Do not worry about this. You can see we can adjust this a little bit depending on how you want this line to look here on the bottom side. And I duplicated the background object in order to fill the top side. I duplicated it. I placed it exactly in the same spot. Then I just right clicked. I selected edit points and I put the points here because I don't have to be precise here. I just want this, this object, which I'm creating right now. Oh, here I should be precise to cover this part. All right. I declick it. Now I have to select it somehow. Okay. Shape fill, fill it with any color you want. Shape outline, no outline. So we make sure everything is perfectly snap. Perfect. Now having this and this, I will copy this one object over. I will turn this object around just like that to the right side because I want to make this little transparent flyer on the right bottom side. What I'm talking about is this little element. This adds the necessary additional flavor and now it becomes something completely unique. All right, so we have shape number one to cover this top side and we have this main shape on the bottom. Now I want to place this here. Okay, right now this looks completely ugly. But what you can do, you can right click, send to back. You can make it, for example, smaller. And what I did, I went of course to format and selected no, no outline on the shape. But what I did was I used transparency. So depending on what color I used, let's for example, I have a blue one. Let's maybe make this one yellow. Now I want to colorize everything to yellow. It would be best if we select this, click on shift, select this. So we have both those shapes. If we go to format, merge shapes, and we simply union them. Okay, now this is one object. I see here a slight mistake, but this is forgiving because we will have the same color of this and this. I wanted a yellow. Okay, now, I can go to shape fill. 
yellow, select this one, this time not shape fill, shape outline, yellow as well, oh and this object, I need to select it, I need to select shape outline and select no outline. And look at that, completely, completely beautiful. Before I proceed, I select Ctrl G, or you simply right click, group, group it. And now I can make this smaller, bigger, I can resize it a bit, but don't resize it too much, because those objects you can see, if you resize it too much, you can have some little errors here. But basically, if you resize it just a little bit, it will be perfect. I want to make something like that, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. If you want to change the color, remember that you have to select this separately and this separately. If this should be, for example, black or red, I'm going to the format I'll use shape fill here. Let's make it maybe gray. Then I need to select the second object. And this time I want to work with the shape outline. I just used the recent color, boom. Maybe this smaller one as well. Recent color, boom. And voila, we recolored this element. Eventually, you could also right click, select edit points and try to create something like that by yourself. But the edit points in PowerPoint is sometimes a bit counterintuitive. It's sometimes a bit difficult, but hey, it can be as well used. So if you need any minor adjustments here, just try to work those points. I did to place the price here on the middle, but here it would be maybe even more amazing. I hope this will be helpful to you and see you in other tutorials like always.